What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.6 and 9.3.5. This method involves no computer and it is very easy to do in 2024. So let's get to it. So guys, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on iOS 9.3.6 or 9.3.5, as you can see I am. If you're not, you're going to want to make sure you can update to that if you're on an iOS 9 capped device. But with all of that out of the way, if you're on 9.3.6 or 9.3.5, you are good to continue. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Safari. Then we are going to type in this URL. Then once you've got this exact URL typed in, go ahead and tap go. And once we get in here, we're going to scroll down until we see Phoenix. We're going to tap on Phoenix then tap install, then go to the home screen and allow it to download. And guys, as you can see, it is now downloaded. So if I go ahead and tap on it, you're gonna see we can't go into it just yet because we need to go into our settings and trust the certificate. So in the settings page, we're gonna scroll down and go into general. Then we're gonna scroll all the way down until you see device management. We're gonna tap it. And then there will be a profile here. It might not say the exact same thing as mine. Usually it does not. So whatever you have here, just go ahead and tap on it. And inside of it, it should say Phoenix. Then you're gonna tap trust and trust again. Then we go back to the home page, scroll one over, and we'll go back into Phoenix. Now here, we're gonna tap prepare for jailbreak, then accept, then we're gonna dismiss this and tap proceed with jailbreak at the bottom, then tap begin installation, and use provided offsets. You may get a storage almost full prompt. If you do, just tap done. And you can see my device is now rebooting. And once you're back on the screen, go ahead and swipe. And you'll see now we have Cydia on our screen, and if we go into it, it will load up, but we are not done just yet. Once we get into Cydia, you'll see at the bottom of the screen, sources are loading, wait for that to load. Once you get to this reloading data screen, just allow it to keep doing it, and then click return to Cydia. Here, this is a super important step. You're gonna wanna tap complete upgrade when you see this, just to make sure everything is secure and fully working. You'll see there's a lot of stuff to upgrade, then tap confirm. And once that's done loading, usually your Cydia will just crash for you or you can tap the restart springboard. Either way, if we go back into it now, you can see everything is reloaded and up to date. 
So your phone is now jailbroken. But there is one more thing. I will now show you what happens if you happen to reboot your device or if your battery dies and you turn it back on, how you can get your jailbreak back. But if those things do happen, you will need to re-enable it. I will show you this now. And my device is now rebooted, so I'll slide back in, go one over, and this time on the rebooted device, if I try to go into Cydia, it will crash instantly. So what we need to do here is go into Phoenix, actually. And inside of Phoenix, you're gonna see it doesn't say to jailbreak this time. You're gonna see it's a whole different, like, setup. There's no proceed to jailbreak or jailbreak options. And here it says your iPhone 4,1, which is the 4S, is prepared for jailbreak, but the jailbreak is not enabled. So we're gonna tap Kickstart Jailbreak, then tap Use Provided Offsets again, just like before. And it is now done. You can see it is respringing currently. So going back into the phone, this time if we go into Phoenix, you will see it now says that it is jailbroken. So if we head out of this and check on our Cydia, it is now loaded in perfectly normal. So guys, your phone is now completely jailbroken and ready for tweaks to be installed. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any tweak videos for this so I can show you exactly how to utilize this jailbreak. And don't forget to like the video. If this video hits 100 likes, I will drop an iPhone 4S, iPad 2, iPad mini, all of the iOS 9 related devices. So guys, with that, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like and subscribe as it will help this channel out a ton. And I post new shorts related to this every day for you guys. Once again, thanks for watching.